Hey everybody, TJ here. So it's 2020, and what most people's New Year resolution is, is to try to get into shape. What I've been doing for the past 60 days is playing Ring Fit Adventure, a new game by Nintendo that's basically a run-of-the-mill RPG with one notable exception. Instead of having your avatar attack the enemies for you in a turn-based type environment, you have to defeat these enemies with your own abilities, your own energy in the form of some exercises. I've really been enjoying this game, and so much so that I want to share it with you, and I feel like if you and I join forces, we can make 2020 our fittest year yet. So if you made it this far, I want to tell you this game requires a Pilates ring that comes with the game and a leg strap like this. However, because we're going to be doing this together, you don't actually need it. You can use any Pilates ring, like this one right here. Ho oh, bam! And this is just a normal Pilates ring, but it functions exactly the same as this one. Even if you don't have a Pilates ring of any kind, you actually don't need anything. And here's why. This game was designed with resistance. So you can do it with your own body if you want to follow along and you have nothing. Let me show you. Everything is a push and pull. You have to be able to do this with your own hands. So if you're going to be doing any pressing exercises like this, you just push your hands together. And if you're going to do any pulling exercises, you just pull your hands apart and you'll follow along just fine. Now this game starts off with a cutscene that kind of gets you into the action. It all starts with our avatar hero who meets this mysterious ring. Sealed within the ring is our game's primary antagonist, a beastly bodybuilding dragon by the name of Drago. The only way to take down Drago is to join forces with the ring, this ring right here, and by uniting your energy and efforts through a series of exercises and challenges, you'll increase your strength, stamina, and flexibility to be able to defeat Drago. This seems like as good a time as any to save the world, so let's you and me go on an adventure. We're going to start at the very beginning. So with respect to the difficulty level, I set it to moderate. That'll give us a pretty good workout no matter what your fitness level is. If you're brand new to fitness, it's easy enough where it's not going to be too intimidating. And if you're a fitness pro, I think you're going to break a sweat too. Let's jump right in. That's our buddy Tim. He likes to give us some advice from time to time. And just to let you know, I'm going to be skipping through some of the interstitial screens right here so we can get right to the action. World 1 in the first place. All right, already we've got an achievement. We are curious about fitness. Okay, world one, here we go. See if we can increase our level. Draco is radiating a purple aura like this. Don't you remember? It's the dark influence. It'll creep into the weakness of your heart and consume you. That's why we have to stop Draco as soon as possible. I'm sorry you get dragged into all this. I know it's a lot to take in. Don't worry if you're feeling a little don't worry if you're feeling a oh, geez, I can't read. I'm gonna have to edit this like crazy. Don't worry if you're feeling a little overwhelmed here, TJ. I'm here to support you. Thank you, Rain. Let's begin. Alright, I'm getting ready. Now it's a good time to mention if you feel really tight, you should probably pause the video right here, do a little bit of stretching, and then come back when you're ready. Alright, the mission here is to reach the goal. You start by doing a little bit of running. Okay, and you can tell if the flame of your hair is going, that you're one with the ring. We press in like this, we get to blow out puffs of air. We can use these to break boxes, like that one over there, and that one. Oh yeah. And if you face the ring downward like this, you can jump. We can also bust doors open, boom. And like this one, got it. No door can hold us back. We're gonna be busting down all kinds of doors here. And jumping through all kinds of rings. Here we've got a pretty sweet medallion. You collect three of those and you get some sweet experience points to level yourself up. When you're going up the stairs, you gotta do some high knees action. Now I really like these because they're kind of like the drills that we use in Taekwondo for speed. Try to get your kicks going. And bust that door open too. And for this one, we're gonna go. Got it. <laughs> and it's also a pretty good idea as we're doing this stuff to breathe. Sometimes I have to remind myself. Oh, yeah, so Luigi's Mansion style vacuum, except we gotta pull the ring out and suck it all up. I'm breathing heavy already. 
Oh, my flame's not going. I'm not running fast enough. All right, time to strike our victory pose. I got you, Ring. Here we go. Victory! All right, not bad. And we've already leveled up. Level two it is. Let's go! World two, we're on our way. Making our way to Draco will be no easy task. Let's keep our heads up and charge onward. A transient temple. All we gotta do is reach the goal. And we're off and running. Draco has a whole bunch of monsters working for him. They can show up anywhere. All right, well, let's fight some monsters. <laughs> Collecting coins. <laughs> Miss what I think. All right, maybe that's a little too over eager. <laughs> and those are the important ones. I really want to get all those experienced ones. Looks like we're about to have our first battle. All right. Uh-oh, I knew these guys would show up. To defeat the monsters that Draco created, you'll have to fight against them in big battles. No need to worry. I'm a fit battle expert. So if you're feeling a bit intimidated, now nah, we got this. Just leave it to me. You can think of the battles as the collision of two combatants' exercise energy. Come on, let's warm up by giving this guy a smoothie blend of kale and punishment. All right. I think you'll find that Ring really likes his smoothies. All right, so let's see what we got. We got a squat, we got an overhead press, and knees to chest, and chair pose. So chair pose is Balance slash yoga typically. Our yellow attacks are abdominal exercises for your core. The red ones are typically upper body. And then the blue ones are for your legs. Why don't we start this one off nice and easy with a squat. All right, here we go. Down and hold. And right back up. Yeah, I love that foot, kicking that thing right down. I think that one's called a hoplin. They hop around, all hoppy-like. You can tell that when we've gone low enough in the squat, our legs catch on fire. No problem. We got this. On the left side of that bar there, We've got our counter, so only 10 more to go. The blue ones are time under tension, so we get into the position, we just hold it for a little bit, and then we pop back up, and then these turquoise, teal ones, are a little bit quicker. And then ab guard. Now for this one, we're going to take the ring con, press it against our stomach. We do have to let the bad guy hit us, but at least we can defend ourselves to some extent with a nice six-pack shield. Great. Now let's go with some overhead press. Okay. No problem. How you guys doing at home? Still with me? Nice. This feels about right. We were kicking them up on the last move, and now we're punching them down. I think this one might do it. Might be able to finish them off here. I know my reading's a little bit backwards from what they recommended, it just feels better to me. There we go. 
And we got to collect some coin. A little bit of experience on our way to level three. And we're back at it. Here we go. Collect some hearts, get our health back up. I didn't see that box there, oops. I'm not going fast enough, there we go. Oh, it's a good thing I sped up at that moment because that bridge is breaking. I guess I'm slacking a little bit on the run. All right, we're back. Serious action, serious action. Up the stairs we go, no slack. These are Taekwondo high knee girls, that's right. All right, good, I need that battle. All right, as a, this one's red, so we can use the red attack to do a little bit of extra damage. I hope that your arms are recovered. I think I should be okay. Pucha! Punch! Yeah! In your head, eyeball. Mm, get some! Ha! You know, I find that this game is a lot of trash talk for me. Boom! I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wish every RPG was like this. My dream would be able to be like playing Final Fantasy for Switch like this. I could justify that hundred hours if I knew that I was also doing it to get fit. <sighs> Boom, got him. And Abgard. Got nothing. Alright, we haven't done abs yet. Let's carve that six pack out. We don't need the ring count for this. Leg straight. Go up. And boom. Boom. I really love how the game conspires with sound and feedback from the rumble and uh, your own physical energy and on-screen visual cues to all work together to help you get it right. You can feel the strong vibration if you're fully activated. You can also see that the hair is flaming out. I love the graphic too of where we start with a little bit of extra girth around the middle and we're a rock solid climbing wall abdominal column when we do the attack. Boom, take that Hoplin. Getting rich. Mm. Over 40 different fit skills. Well, we've only got a small handful right now, but I think if we keep at it, we're gonna be able to increase our attack arsenal of fitness. All right, we're back at it. No slacking. Flame hair only. <gasps> Boom! Yes! We did it. Level three. And we're on. No breaks. Okay, we made the goal. Let's convert our efforts into victory. Got it. Looking good. It's like they always say, exercise is the best teacher. Well, I haven't heard that before, but let's go with it. Draco has no idea how strong you are, so he probably has his guard down. Now let's keep working our way toward Draco. Alright, the battle is on. You guys ready for this? Let's see how we do. This is Draco Stadium. The more he works out, the stronger his dark influence grows. I'm sure he's working out right now. We have to stop Draco, and soon. Are your knees okay? Are you staying hydrated? Yeah, make sure to take a drink if you need one. As soon as you're ready, take a deep breath and your journey can begin. <sighs> Draco Stadium. Lots of experience points. This should take us about 10 minutes. In we go. All right, time to defeat Draco. All right, here we go. The battle with Draco may be long and exhausting. It's important to focus on your breathing. Oh, I just missed that experience thing, didn't I? Flame. That was focusing on my reading. Alright, lots of stairs. 
Oh, I guess we can do it like this. Okay, let's get all those. Ah, I lost my ring thing. How inconvenient timing. How embarrassing. We're going. Now when I played through it the first time, I did it on silent mode because I live on the sixth floor of an apartment building. So I'm trying to keep the sound a little bit softer as I stomp around. We're going to tighten that thing up. I actually might have to switch it back to silent mode after this. All right, he's getting his workout on. I actually wouldn't mind at all if my body looked like that. Come up fresh and clean, stick to a routine. Isn't that what you always used to say, Ring? But you still locked me up anyway. Now look at me. I'm totally out of shape. Yeah, I wish I was that out of shape. And who's this supposed to be? Your new training buddy? Leave my partner out of this. This is just between you and me. Nice, he's very strong, and clearly that those huge bulging muscles has not negatively impacted his flexibility in any way. Fine, whatever, I don't care. But if you or anyone else gets in the way of my training, I'll pound him into the ground. Okay, it's on. It's getting real. All right, Drago is, uh, got the dark influence, so he's not particularly susceptible to any of these exercises. So why don't we go with this one, because it's the only one we haven't done yet, and I have a feeling we're probably going to need to go through all of them. Probably multiple times. Chair pose. So this one is rather low intensity. We assume the position of a chair, and we get our hands above our heads. Dropping that flower blossom on his head? I'm not exactly sure either. Alright, nice and easy. You don't actually have to do too many of these. Just three more. Focus on your form, says the ring. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Man, that took a pretty decent chunk out of him. An ab guard! Woo! I would not want to be punched by one of those fists in real life. Let's see. How about we do some, we just did squats, so let's put that one off. Do some upper body action. Overhead press. Bam! Punch him right in the noggin. I like these really dramatic animations that they use to show impacts. It makes it very satisfying every time you do a move. It's a nice little reward for a move well done. We're getting some crates here. It rates you on how well you do the move. If we weren't holding it strong enough or our position was out, it would be saying good or even worse. But we're getting crates. I hope you're getting crates at home too. I know you are. Taking his energy down bit by bit. Whew. I have to remember to get my breathing with it too. All right, we're speeding up. I know my breathing is exactly opposite of what the game is recommending. That's just a Taekwondo habit because you usually breathe out on the, the attack part of it. Okay. Let's do knees to chest. Uh, we got this. Legs straight. Three, two, one. Raise. Extend. Raise. And extend. I'm picturing myself flying through the air. Boom! Like drop kick style. You can't handle this six-pack attack. Ugh. I should probably be a little bit less wild with my upper body, but I'm getting kind of excited. 
It doesn't really need to be this fast. I actually should slow it down. Up. And out. And boom. Now we go fast. In, out. In, out. Yes. Doing good. Not bad. One, two, three. All right, he's attacking us again. Now we've got three hearts, so we got to be make sure we get some seriously good ab guards in there. Oh, we do a double hammer fist attack? I don't think so, Draco. Now we could do chair pose. Oh, actually, we could do overhead press again. Now let's get some squats in. They all do the same exact damage, 30 attacks. So here we go. Cool. We're going to get some squats. Oops, I moved. Boom! Boom! Bam! When, when we do these holds and this, this extended time under tension, I actually kind of feel like I can get too comfortable relaxing breaths in there. This one breath is a really long one. I can't really inhale that long, I feel like. Boom! And now we go quick, bam! Boom! Coming at you. What uppercut? Takes toe, Draco! He's planning his next workout. How convenient. Let's go. Let's do some more upper body attacks. Give the lower body a chance to rest. That's one of the other really cool things about the game, I think, is you kind of have to be strategic in how you coordinate your workouts because if you put too many of the same body parts too close together, the fatigue starts to play a factor in your performance in the game. <laughs> I can't forget to breathe. Now we're slowly whittling them down. Drago is no chump. <sighs> Boom. All right, get some, Drago. In your face. All right, we're working on deltoids here, but I think you'll probably feel that it's going all throughout those arms. And gotcha! And ab guard! Oh, he's gonna hit us twice this time. So we can't quit. We gotta keep it going strong in between. I got it. Mm. Alright, it's not looking too hot though. We better finish him off one of these next moves. Let's see. Do we chair attack him? Or should we do some knee to chest? Well, we chair attack because it does the same amount of damage, but there are way fewer of them. Alright, feet a little closer together. Bend down, arms up in the air. Oh, I should have breathed in right here. That's awkward. Alright, now here's my breathing out. And then we go. Oh, we got him! And he's spilling coins everywhere. Take that big guy, win! Oh, I love that! Level 4 already! Oh, we almost even got another one cruising right along! Here we go! Pull out the energy from the ground! Victory! Not bad, everybody. Five minutes and 45 seconds of solid training. And we're well on our way to level five. What gives? I'm supposed to be tougher than this. Mm, when I get my power back, 
I'm gonna mix you a pain smoothie hero, TJ. Bet on it. Hey, don't single me out. They're doing it too. You're gonna regret the day you met him. Oh wait, actually that was very close to Take two. You're gonna regret the day you met him. And off he goes. And don't you come back. Oh no, he got away. I thought that was what we wanted to do. One thing is clear to me now though. Thanks to you, we drove Draco away. I'm glad I get to work with you as my partner. Come on, it's not safe to let Draco roam around freely. I think Draco escaped to the neighboring country. Let's hurry up and go after him. We did it, everybody. World 1, 100% clear. Let's call it quits for today, but I hope you'll join me again next time. And all throughout the month of January, where you and I join forces to have an adventure through Ring Fit and kick off 2020 with an energetic start. I look forward to training again with you. Until then, thanks for playing.